Welcome back to the show. A lot of young dads to be as stressed out about the whole idea of being a father. According to a recent survey, more than 25% are not ready for the birth. 25% said the state of their finances was a major concern. Many said they have trouble bonding with the baby. 60% did not have sex for more than two months after the birth. Well, Troy Jones has a lot of experience to share and he made the documentary called Being Dad and he joins us now. Thanks, guys. Fatherhood really is a shock for blokes, isn't it? We, we film now in, in Australia, America and England and I think Australia, on average, are better at denying the whole concept of becoming a dad than any of the other two countries we've been to. They're genuinely very good at keeping the space between the ears completely blank. Mm. Uh, better than anywhere else. So I love the idea of it, um, but the practicalities of it when it comes around are a massive shock. Oh, yeah. I think the whole thing you see, I mean, we talk about dude to dad. I mean, it's this enormous transition that does happen. The question is how quickly does it happen? Does it happen within the first day, as mums expect, you know, this instant bonding with the baby, or does it take sort of, in some cases, month, two months, three months before the dad goes, ah, baby's come along, this is a change in my life, and mm. things have, have really changed. So It's a shock to both sexes, but, but is it more of a shock to men because they probably haven't had the intense conversations and the, and the, and the sharing with friends yep. in the way that women do with other mums and you know women want to be really prepared for parenthood whereas men as you say feel a bit more like I'll deal with it when it happens. We were just talking Carl and I before about how uh, you know your second third kid you're much more prepared and that's kind of the idea of being dad is to have it as to take a bit of the edge off that first one because the first time you, your dad, my dad for example, who's given me advice on every topic in the world including how to bowl leg spin and what mm. I should put as a maths answer for year eight was unbelievably silent on, on what it, what happens in pregnancy, birth or bringing the baby home. There's absolutely no information. Because women's business. Yeah, but you go back 30 years, he was at the, my birth and, and it, but just nothing, apparently he nearly fainted, I found out from my mum just the other week. But um, yeah. <laughs> Plenty of us girls almost can as well. So <laughs> we don't get offered the... drugs at all though, which is different. <laughs> but it's, it's um. It's, it's something I think just is a huge shock, mainly because blokes don't talk about it. There's almost no role models that aren't a Brad Pitt type celebrity that you know, of, you know may have some support along the way. I think that, um, that, that, that those role models have been very important. I, I think um, looking at the guys now that, that are very high profile in the public arena, especially movie stars and the like, who take time out to be with their kids, mm. is a positive role model. Um, but it doesn't prepare you for that, I reckon, especially that first child and the first six to 12 months of it's that like child. everything they see with the celebrities, it's everything's in the stride, everything's easy, you know. And because they're probably going to help and all that oh, Absolutely, sort of whereas so you're not fully prepared, I think, and a lot of the problems come from this is harder than we thought, whether it's the mum or the dad and, and being dad, we get a lot of feedback. I think pretty much the idea of the film is, you know, popping into um, the Big W store and buying it, bringing it home and watching it with the partner. So rather than a book, which for my case was stacking up on the bedside table, it got to the point where there were we cartoons. Don't we don't well, that's right, me. cartoons with highlighted paragraphs. I yeah. thought, I've got to make a film about this. So, um, but at the point is you watch it together, you have a discussion. And once you're communicating, which is the big issue with blokes and mm. that women have with blokes, just, they don't talk, he's not thinking about it, he thinks I'm fat, we haven't um, mm. been intimate in months, he must think I'm fat. Truth is he's scared of tapping the baby on the head or it's yeah. all too weird or there's another yeah. person in the room. Because there's no conversation, there's no preparation and there's no sharing and that's what being dad is all about is starting a conversation if you can do that and watch the film together. It's easier, a bit easier. What is a good way for guys to feel more included in the process because physically you know, the baby's being carried by the woman and there's still that physical attachment, particularly with breastfeeding. Mm. How do guys muscle in on that very it's, intimate relationship? You know what, we're, again, we were talking about it before, I think it's fear. I think the guy doesn't want to be in, if he's out of his comfort zone, doesn't want to know about it. I'll think about it later, you know, if, if I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go and I'm not able to do something physical with sticky tape and fix the whole situation, I'll just avoid it. And Bless so, you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's, that's the problem. So again, if you can, like the being dad, we have 60 dads talking about it, you sit and watch it with your wife, you talk about, you see other guys that are similar going through it, you guys can have, not you guys, because that's, that's a bit weird, but you know, you know, have a conversation <laughs> about um, what it is that's coming, because the guy will go, hey, that guy in Brisbane is exactly like me. I was worried about that or that's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Girl gets the, the doors open and mm. all of a sudden they're chatting and, and that's again the idea. Well it's not easy, it's not easy. But it's and fun it, and that's the best yeah. thing everyone says, I don't have any money, I don't have any time, yeah. I don't see my mates anymore, but when, I love it. When is, when is it fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the queue uh, at some point. <laughs> pop, in, pop in a big W and grab your coffee. Fella. Thank you very much. I'm trying to, to tear down some of the, uh, the barriers there and the boundaries. Good on you. Thanks, Thanks appreciate it. All right, Thanks. coming up.
If it's on your radar, you'll find it on ours. Radar Search, a world first from domain.com.au. So many different bottled waters on offer at the supermarket. Is there any real difference between them all? Very good question. And are they really worth buying? Or are you better off with tap water? Joining us now today, nutritionist Joanna McMillan Price. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Bottled water, rip yeah. off for good value. Well, look, I think the bottom line is we are spending an awful lot of money on bottled Half water. Half a billion dollars? Yeah, a oh. huge amount. And that's before we even get to talking about the plastic bottles that most of this is going into. So yeah. I think the first up thing we have to say is the tap water here in Australia is some of the safest water in the world. So from a nutritional perspective, you don't need to be buying water at all. There is nothing wrong with our tap water. Well, we are spending a lot of money on this.